Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though, Heist Man? The foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. This is what happened last week on Earth. For starters, this right here happened. Y'all lost my mind up in here, up in here. This dude right here, I don't know his name, don't know nothing about him. Only thing I know is, he went to the doctor. He woke up, he had half a head. They lost his mind, half of his skull. Some reason, somehow, some way. I don't know how they did it. Um, Maybe they threw it in the trash can. Maybe they didn't think he needed it. But he woke up and he was like, come on, bro, y'all lost my mind. Well, I mean, y'all lost half of my head. Where is it at? I don't know, man. That's a nasty situation. I hate to wake up and be like, hey, I came in here for a toothache. Where the rest of my head at? I don't know. This happened last week on Earth. Have it your way. This dude, he wanted to have it his way, man. I don't know his name. Don't know nothing about him. I just know he went to Burger King. Pulled out the blicky when somebody didn't get his food right. And didn't get his order right. Look at this man right here, yo. Now he's facing, um, I think, 134 years. I think he got sentenced to 122 years, 134, 100, 100 and something. I don't know what the other come after 100 in. 100 and something. That's how many years he got from pulling out the blicky. He ain't use it. He ain't use it. I don't know, man. He pulled out the blick and he have he gonna have it his way. Somebody gonna have their way with him now, maybe. I don't know. He better be tough. Don't drop the soap. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What else happened last week on Earth? Dying over beef. This dude right here, I think he's living in Brazil. I don't know the dude's name. I ain't gonna show his picture, but he passed away. He died over beef. The beef we talking about in question is a cow. A cow was on the roof and it fell through the roof and it landed on his kidney or something. A couple of days later, he passed away. Upon further research, I found out this happened like probably two, three years ago. But I just learned about it last week. So this is what happened last week on Earth. Can you imagine that though? You sitting in your... Something fall through the roof and this a, a whole cow. Like, God damn, baby, call the police, man. I mean, call the ambulance. A damn cow done fell on me. Then you die from it. Man, that's messed up. It hit something. It hit something when he when it fell on him, like a cow. That's a I don't know that roof made out of. It don't look like it's made out of nothing. First of all, it looked like gal like not galvanized. It looked like some kind of messed up plastic or something. Mm -hmm. That beam going across that piece right there made out of damn oak or something. I don't know. I repeated that dude, man. I repeated that dude. That happened last week on Earth. Watch your testicles. I think this happened in Brazil. Also, hey, everything happened in Brazil or, or what? Or just, just on my mind. I don't know, but this happened right here. A toilet. Man got bitten the testicles by a python. Or I don't know what kind of snake it is. I ain't a snake racist. <laughs> I ain't gonna identify the snake as something that I ain't gonna call it. It's a python or a boa constrictor or something. Whatever it happened, it. <sighs> Came up out of the toilet and bit him in the testicles. I think that's like every man's worst nightmare. Was spider crawling on this? I don't know. That's crazy. That's crazy. That happened last week on Earth. Bye bye, Benefer. It's over with, man. Again. Jennifer, oh, not Jennifer Anderson. What's her name? Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. Over with. They call it a voice. I think he got tired of everybody seeing that picture. He walked into the car and just closed the door and just get in. Um, they spent the block on love like they was together back in the days. And they said, let's try this again. I'll let you again, shorty. I don't know, man. We had some good times. They got back together. It was like, nah, I should have left you alone. You, yep, yeah, that's that's why I got rid of you. That's exactly why. Maybe on both ends, you were like, mm-mm. I don't know, your feet stink or something. I don't know. These two people, man, they had their relationship. It didn't work out. They got back together just to break up. So, bye-bye, Benefer. That happened last week. Reese's Pieces. Angel Reese, she has been endorsed by Reese's Pieces. 
great smart um marketing move by her. Smart. This right here is marketing one on one. Now her name Angel Reese. Reese's pieces is you know collabing with her, trying to get some more eyes on the WNBA. It's pretty cool, man. I think that's dope. Reese's pieces. I think that's what these dudes be calling themselves too, man. These dudes um trying to get flown out by a WNBA woman. Cause that's the thing right now. Um getting flown out by the WNBA because this year was the first year they had like more than one baddie. You know, usually you be like, oh that's that's a cute one playing the WNBA. And the rest of them look like Buster Rhymes. No joke. A lot of them look like Buster Rhymes. But this year, they had like maybe thirty that's a lot in the WNBA. They had like 30 dime pieces walking around. Everybody like, yo, the WNBA. Okay, I see you. It's a long foot, but there's some bad ones in the WNBA. So this, hey, and that's what they, she's been calling her, her dudes, the Reese's Pieces. So big shout out to the Reese's Pieces. Going to get flown out by six foot eight bitch. <laughs> that happened last week. She had an endorsement deal. Fam, you got to relax. That's what I said about this story, man. Fam, you got to relax. This dude right here, man, don't know his name. I forgot it. But he is um the MVP or won some championship in flag football. Flag football coming to the Olympics in 2028, so I hear. And um, he jumped out the window and said, look, I want to be in there. I think he's 35 years old, first of all. But he said, um, I want to be in the Olympics, and I don't think... Patrick Mahomes can take my job. I'm a better quarterback than him. Some, some he was spewing out. But what I say, fam, you gotta relax because don't nobody know you, man. And when it come down to the Olympics, yes, you are the flag football king right now. But you think they're gonna pick you over? You know, you understand what I'm saying? Patrick Mahomes, two-time winning quarterback. Or did he, how many did he win? Two or three? I know he got back-to-back -back, though. Patch my homes over you. So I just say, fam, you got to relax, man. You know when in here, you're going to keep that job. I think I heard um, on Hard Knocks, I think Caleb Williams said he want to go also. You see? You see? These are names. You are just a regular guy. $996 million baby. I call him $996 million baby because he used to be billion dollar baby. That's what he's claiming. But he getting sued by his baby mama's brother, Danny Lee brother, um, for four million dollars because of what happened to him at that damn um bowling alley. He called himself, you know, wanted to defend his sister's honor and wanted to run down on her baby daddy. When he ran down on the baby daddy, the baby daddy and his homeboys put the beach to him in the middle of a damn strike or something. Like in, in the lanes. You see the lanes down there? How you get beat up at the bowling alley in front of everybody and you want to sue? You came there looking for trouble, man. Now you want to sue for $4 million. You got to relax, fam. You got to relax. So $996 million, baby. Maybe if he had to pay this $4 million to that dude. It's corny, bro. A live beat dad. Instead of a dead beat dad, he is an alive beat dad. This dude right here, name is Jesse Kempf. He a Kentucky man admitting to faking his own death to avoid paying child support. He was served 6.5 years, six and a half years for being a, a live beat dad instead of a dead beat dad. He ain't dead. We're trying to fake your death, man, so you got to take care of them damn kids, nigga. Dirty ass. Look at him. He going to fake his death, yeah? Mm, mm, mm. So I say he's an alive beat dad. That happened last week. The kid. Mm, mm, mm. R.I.P. to Craig Mack But that's what they said Craig Mack passed away from I didn't ever see this picture of Craig Mack Before I put this up here Craig Mack looked dark skinned Craig Mack was light skinned He always been an um, a ugly little dude Man I'm sorry Y'all know Craig Mack ugly He been ugly Just cause he did Don't mean we gotta change up the damn history Craig Mack ugly but He was dark skinned on this right here man They say he passed away from the kit For some of y'all don't know what the kit is It's the package Um Prem Zilla, he coined the phrase last night, the four-letter sweater. <laughs> I love that. The four-letter sweater. AIDS. That's what Craig Mack had, man. He passed away of AIDS. So RIP to him. And yo, take care of yourselves, man. Strap on, strap up, whatever. 
But that's when he passed away from Craig Mack. The four letter sweater. That happened last week. That's when it just came out that he passed away. He passed away probably about a couple years ago, wasn't he? I don't know. Ew, just ew. That's what I said about this um conversation we're gonna have right now. Rapper, artist, whatever you wanna call her, sexy red. She coming out with her own lip gloss. And her lip gloss name choices are despicable. Y'all see him right here, man. I don't even want to say it, but I got to say it. Coochie juice, booty hole brown, nut, pussy hole pink, yellow discharge, gonorrhea, blue balls, and sex on my period. Those are the names. The names of her lip glosses she want to sell. Don't say these to my daughter, man. That's what I'm saying. You got to wear, like, come on, man. The children, yo. You got to think about the kids who love you and want to be involved. And daddy, daddy, my daughter come to me. Daddy, can you buy me? No, my daughter don't listen to no shit like this, first of all. We can't, mm, no, but I'm saying everybody else who have children out there, there's um, that's just wrong, man. You, daddy, daddy, I want sexy red new lip gloss. Ooh, okay. Let me see. What's the name of it? You, these the names of it. Come on, man. Uh, no, that's wrong. Just ill. So you need, you need to do better, man. People look up to you, sexy red, red. I mean, look at them. That's what I said about this conversation or this topic, this news story. Just look at them. These four women right here from Fulton County Jail, they security officer, they were charged. I mean, they were arrested and charged with smuggling cell phones into a jail, smuggling food and chicken pot pies, sending explicit photos and videos to inmates and having sex with inmates. Just look at them. Don't you think they did that? They did. I look. I mean, look at them. That's the first thing I thought about when I said... I mean, look at them. Of course they did all this. One thing I tried to gloss over last night when I was reading this off to my co-host, and they caught me, they like, hold on, how are you just going to run over that? Chicken pot pies, smuggling food and chicken pot pies. So what's what's chicken pot pies going for inside of a damn prison? And why they single out chicken pot pies? Food, chicken pot pies is food. So what's, you know? Then we went on a whole tangent of, are they KFC Popeyes or are they Banquet Popeyes? Cause we used to, hey, them little Banquet Popeyes used to be busting. Them little ones, man, used to come in a little tin, the little tin around it. They didn't switch up to like some kind of plastic you can put in the microwave to help bake it. I'm not putting no Popeye inside of a microwave. That's gross. You gotta have the, the hard crust on top. But I was trying to figure out like, man, how much of things cost? I think they cost like 49 cents, 70. Everything that went up so high now. We had people in the chat saying it was a dollar sixty nine. They had my wife looking it up. She was like, "Hey, they're a dollar." It's like, "Yo, a little Popeye, them little Popeyes and banquet, them things be good, man." But they about two dollars now for one little one. So you might well go to KFC and spend seven dollars, man. But these ladies right here, they were smuggling in chicken pot pies. Look at them, despicable. They had them last week on Earth, and this was controversial subject right here, man. When I seen this, I said, yep, cool. You got to teach them early. Now, the thing is, what happened? This woman right here, she is suing the 36th District Court in Detroit of putting her daughter in handcuffs and putting her in a jumpsuit. This brother right here is the judge. He put this woman, on, which is her daughter, into handcuffs in a jumpsuit because she was falling asleep inside of his courtroom on a field trip. And... My co-host is like, nah, man. Yeah, not that, not that she should sue, but they went on with the aspect of you never know what that girl going through while she was falling asleep inside of that classroom. Well, not the classroom, but the field trip. And I'm sitting there looking like, nah, you got to teach them early, man, because that's disrespect. Like me, I'm looking at it's disrespect for that child to be on the field trip falling asleep in that man's courtroom, right? You got to teach them early because that's disrespectful. You can't have them doing that, man. And... That's what's wrong with the world now. The world not disciplining their children like they should be or need to be. And that was a big, t it was a heavy topic for us last night because I'm looking like, yeah, get. And they were like, well, she could have been traumatized for that. And all that. I'm looking like, come on, really? She didn't get locked up. She didn't get a charge. The mama, um, she's suing, but she looked like she with the street life. You know, I don't know. I ain't judging her, but like, come on, man. Like she trying to come up on the come up. She on the come up, this woman is, man. To me, that's what it look like. She on the come up. She trying to get something. I'm, oh, I'm suing. You didn't put my daughter in handcuffs. You're like, come on, man. 
This man is a black man who trying to teach your little black daughter to look. You got to respect these judges and stuff, man. If you ever inside of a courtroom. And he gave a fair warning. It's, an, it's not enough people holding people responsible, man, or taking, you, you know, accountability. <laughs> accountability of what their actions are. And I think he did right by putting her in handcuffs and putting her in that, okay, you want to fall asleep in my, in my courtroom? You on the, you ain't even, you ain't even supposed to be there. You on the field trip. You understand? So I ain't, I don't know. We, we, we clashed on this topic right here, me and my wife and my co-host. And the people in the chat like, nah, you can't do that, but... Come on, man. You got to teach them early, man. Teach them respect. And right. I do not know what's going on inside of that um, child's home. But the looks of her mama ain't too much. It's a lot going on, probably. Look at the mama. Look at the mama. Not to be judgy, but come on now. Now, mama try to sue? Because he put it in hand. He, he disciplined your daughter, what you don't do at home? Right, I don't know, man. It's a crazy situation. Crazy subject. But it happened last week on Earth. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this. Um... I think you should teach them early. And Taliban speaking and reading, I mean, speaking or reading in public. Y'all know what happened, man. The Taliban in Afghanistan, what they did is they banned women from speaking or reading in public. Let alone they can't even show their face, man. You know, we can't, we can't wonder who that is. And now they can't speak or read in public. I don't know, man, what they trying to do. This is they laws and they buy the stuff over there, over there. That's happening over there. But I'm saying it's kind of dangerous because you don't know what they got underneath that. Is that a man or a dude? Is it an insurgent? You know, is it a sleeper cell? Did he got a bomb strapped to his shit and put it on and jump out there like it's a woman and nobody's going to like, oh, just let that woman walk. Blow up everybody. I don't know. But it's crazy, man. They're not allowed to speak in public or sing or read in public. We on, we live on Earth, man. Come on now, that's some crazy story. But y'all tell me how y'all feel about that. Damn, that's it. That's all the stories I have, man. That's all the things that happened last week on Earth. I go live on this channel every Friday at 9 p.m. talking my stuff just like this. Y'all gotta come through and holler at me, man. Um, we have these conversations live on Friday night. The, the, the conversation I'm having now, I have them live with my co-host, and we sit back and debate. I'm usually right. They usually wrong because I'm always right. I'm a megalomaniac. I'm a narcissistic, um, honorary, whatever you want to call it, man. I'm me. I'm God over here. All that. But they honed it in and they were like, shut up. That's wrong. I'm always right, though. So damn them. Anyway, like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. right here on this channel. Talking about stuff just like this. Matter of fact, I talk about these same things on Friday. And I'll let y'all know about them again Monday morning. So, anyway, I'll let your boy, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. And I'll let your boy, Heist Man the Foe. This has been Last Week on Earth. Or Earth. <laughs> this is a dangerous group. The groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there. <laughs>